I'm going to tell you one thing I promise most of you have never thought about that is absolutely essential to the change we want to see happen in this country and this world. That one thing is something each one of us can do. What is that one thing? Hospitality. Have you ever been to someone's house and you feel welcome? Have you ever had anyone reach out to you in a way that made you feel like you mattered? Have you ever been around a person that made you feel like they cared about who you were and what you had to say and where you've been? That's hospitality. Have you ever had someone who cared for your basic needs, who was willing to cook you a meal, who wanted to sit down over a cup of coffee or make you a cup of tea? How did that make you feel? Americans are the loneliest people on the planet. We're more connected. We have more information. People are constantly on everything from Facebook to Instagram to reading blog posts on toilet seats. And yet, the truth is, we are the loneliest people on the planet. It says a lot, actually. One of the reasons why we're so easily divided is because we are so easily divided. Our attention's divided. Our communication's divided. Our relationships are divided. All by these artificial, arbitrary boundaries that aren't, most of the time, even real. Such as a political affiliation, or an internet connection, or an ethnicity, or a gender issue. The truth is, if we just actually spend time together, you'd be surprised how much humanity is like humanity. Even when there's huge conflict between two people, one of my greatest words of advice is just sit with each other. You'd be surprised what happens when you meet face to face and one of you has to have the guts to do it. That's a video about conflict resolution. That's to come later. But we have to get to the place where we actually are able to have a genuine conversation to look at another human being and be able to get past the telephone screen in order to start realizing that we are real people and have a connection where genuine smiles are exchanged, where someone says, to another human being, can I get you something? When we offer a stranger something to drink, we aren't just offering a stranger something to drink. We're actually partaking in the process of creating another world, another world that is totally possible. The more we can become connected, the more we can share a common ground, a common interest. And the more we share that common interest, the more we are able to be empowered to act in concert together creatively, not in a way that's from the top down, but from the bottom up. It actually might be painful at first for you to like think of someone else. But you know what? That's the truth. That's reality. That's the world we're in. And guess what? You're not alone. That's where most of us are. That's where so many people are stuck. The only way we're gonna get out of that is if we choose to take a step. So choose to take a step. In a culture driven by the values of materialism, consumerism, and self-centeredness, offering a friend or a stranger a cup of tea isn't just being nice. It's taking part in this revolution of values and creating the kind of world we wanna live in. You wanna take an action that matters this week? Have the guts to serve someone.